Good morning, everyone. Pastor Mike Philiber, senior pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church, and Wes Martin, who's also the assistant pastor here. And uh, we're here. We're now here, here for morning prayer. Look at this. Facebook does not like us. We're here for morning prayer this morning on this Wednesday morning, the 16th of December, as we dug our way out of snow and frost and everything else this morning. So here we are. We made it through the streets and all that. Got to move it right here. <laughs> All right, so I want to say happy birthday to two people, Andy Underhill. Andy, happy birthday to you, man. We're going to pray for you in just a minute. And also Mike Ford. Mike Ford, happy birthday to you. We're going to pray for you as well in just a moment. So we're at the Heidelberg Catechism. This is what we're doing. Part of what we're doing in morning prayers, Heidelberg Catechism. We're at question 83. Now we're moving into that part of the catechism where it's dealing with churchy things like the sacraments and, and the keys of the office and things like that. What is the office of the keys? The preaching of the Holy Gospel and church discipline, by which two things, the kingdom of heaven is open to believers and shut against unbelievers. That was question 83. So now we are in uh, Malachi. We've just been reading our way through Malachi. It's a great book to read during Advent. We are at the end. We are at Malachi chapter 4, 1 through 6. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble. The day that is coming shall set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall. And you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the law of my servant Moses, the statutes and rules that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And he will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with a decree of utter destruction. So that was Malachi chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Let's pray. Well, Lord God, we are so grateful that the Son of Righteousness rises with healing in His wings. Mm. We pray, Lord, that uh, He would spread forth the rays of His uh, beams, of His warmth and, and restoration and health across the world, across our country, across our state and our city, but especially and specifically over your people throughout the world, that there would be healing, that we would leap like calves from the stall. Uh, we pray, Lord, that, um, that the arrogant and evildoers would hear this and would repent and turn to Jesus and find their only hope and comfort and life and in death in him. Lord God, we pray for those who are having birthdays today. We pray for Andy and we pray for Mike. Lord, thank you for the blessing of this day um, that you have, have watched over them through the years. We ask you to continue to sustain them. May this be a wonderful day of celebration. And we pray, Lord, that uh, as they walk with you uh, day after day, that they would grow and flourish with fruit, with love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. And may this coming year be bright for them. Lord God, we pray for um, uh, Nixon's doctors and parents in Tanzania as uh, they prepare and decide when to perform the operation that he needs. We ask you to give them wisdom and guide them uh, and bless them. And may he recover and be restored. We pray for an army chaplain at Fort Knox, Kentucky, Mike Burgess. We ask you to be with him there as he's in the fifth corps chaplain section at Fort Knox. We uh, pray that he's all settled in from his uh, PCS, his move there, and that you would open doors for him to serve and minister well and be able to comfort and love and bring people the gospel of Jesus and um, reclaim those who are wayward and strengthen those who uh, need encouragement and fortification. Bless him, Lord, in what he is doing. Dear God, we pray for the state, the Katsina state in Nigeria. Just hearing uh, last night that Boko Haram has captured 300 boys and taken them off. Um, we know what that means, uh, what they plan to do normally. Uh, 
Uh, Lord God, we pray that you would stop them dead in their tracks, that you would defeat the aims and the schemes of Boko Haram in reference to, specifically to these boys and others whom they seek to hurt and to uh, co-opt and kidnap and uh, force into child soldiering. We ask you, Lord God, that you would preserve and protect these boys, that they would be restored to their families and there would be no shame from their families, that they would be received and welcomed back and uh, flourish and um, live healthy lives, Lord God. We pray that you would watch over them and bless them. Father, we lift up to you our uh, state government, uh, Governor Stitt and uh, Senate and House and, and, and all that stuff. Uh, and we lift up to you the ministry to state, uh, Matt Wiley uh, and the work he does there. And, and when we go and uh, preach there and, and do the Bible study with the staffers. We ask that your spirit would move in all of that and that uh, people would be ministered to, lifted up, encouraged that you are there and you are at work there uh, and that your Christian community uh, would continue to influence everything that goes on there. Uh, and also for Chuck Garriott and uh, Thomas Eddy, uh, that their ministry would continue to spread to every capital in this nation. Uh, we pray for our friends Brittany and Teresa and Caleb and Anna. Uh, we ask that they would know your love more and more day by day, uh, that they would truly rejoice uh, that they have peace with you through Jesus Christ our Lord, but what's more, even rejoice in sufferings. Uh, Lord, may they always know your love. Lord, we ask you, we beg you, give ear to our prayers and lighten the darkness of our hearts by your gracious visitation, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. And stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. Mm. And because we are sorely hindered and hounded by our own sins and the sins of others, mm. let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for hanging in there with us for morning prayer on this Wednesday, the 16th of December. Um, here in Oklahoma, we've had probably more snow than I think North Dakota's had, or, or the, the Great Lakes or something yeah. like that. It's been pretty crazy. So uh, it's been delightful. We'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing, and um, we're going to pick up a new set of readings starting tomorrow in the Bible that I think will go along with Advent and Christmas, and we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Until then... The God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.